Now, we're Baptists, so uh, growing up at Lovejoy Baptist Church in Rome, Georgia, you know, churches now, they just sing one hymn. They do the congregational hymn. But when I was growing up, we used to do the congregational hymn and the hymn of preparation before the sermon. We're going to sing one of my favorite hymns of preparation this morning called Pass Me Not, hymn number 181. Now, I want to talk to you about this hymn. Because often we sing hymns but don't know what they're connected to. This great hymn was written by one of to my the favorite okay. hymnologists by the name of Fanny J. Crosby. And there are some people who said this, this song, this hymn, hymn number 181, is theologically inaccurate. Because God would never pass us by. Why would you dare sing that? Well, 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 when you Straight realize, when you that. go back and study the history Straight of the song, the you'll find out that, that Fanny was, was doing some, some charity work in a prison. And one day as she was walking by a prison cell, there was a man in the cell who felt bound and locked up, who saw her as a praying woman and reached his hand through the bars and said, ma'am, while on others you're praying, don't, don't pass me by. And Fanny Crosby said, I thought about what that hymnologist, I thought about what that prisoner said, and then I thought about the blind men by the wayside. Yes, sir. When Jesus was coming through <laughs> the, the ancient Palestinian town and the blind men screamed out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And I wonder, is there anybody that feels locked up this morning? Have you ever felt locked up by life? Have you ever felt like things were just going wrong? And you knew God was there, but you just wanted to scream out, God, while you're blessing everybody else, don't pass me by. I want you to stand with me this morning. Stand up in your home. We're going to sing this great hymn of the church, and then we're going to hear from heaven. Lord, don't pass me by. Don't pass me by. Don't pass me by. <coughs> Fanny Crosby says these words, Stop. pass me not, O gentle Savior. Let's sing together. Pass me not, O gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. While on others thou art caught. Do not pass me by. Verse number two. Let me at thy throne of mercy. Does anybody need any mercy this morning? I know, I, I, I know that, 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 that the church isn't filled with perfect folk. Somebody needs some mercy. And I want you to know when you seek God's mercy, you'll find the sweet relief. Kneeling there. Number three, this is what you got to learn how to do. Trust only in God's merit. Oh, trust in only in God's merit. Would I see the faith? Next time. This is what we need this morning. Lord, heal. Heal my broken, broken spirit Save me by thy Verse number four Thou the spring of all my comfort I like this verse Thou the spring Break it up, Leo. of all my comfort We need some comfort bro. during this time in life The Lord percussive. is more than life The Lord is more than life Calling you, say. 
Bibles once again, Genesis chapter 37. Do not special pass one, me special by. One. Do, do not pass. Do not pass me by. Oh, do my, my, my. not pass me Genesis 37, Genesis 37. Genesis 37, I want to read for you verse 5, 19, and 20. Genesis 37, Genesis 37 reads on this wise. Once Joseph had a dream. Somebody say had a dream. And when he told it to his brothers, they hated him even more. Joseph said to them, listen to this dream that I dreamed. Verse number 19. Then Joseph's brothers said one to another, here comes that dreamer. Come now, let us kill him and throw him into one of the pits. Then we shall say that a wild animal has devoured him. And we shall see what will become of his dreams. I want to preach this morning from the topic part two of our sermon series. We're in a sermon series titled Joseph, the Diary of a Great Dreamer. Joseph, the diary of a great dreamer. Joseph, the diary of a great dreamer. That's our sermon series. But this morning, I want to preach from the topic, keeping your dreams alive. Somebody look at somebody next to you or type it in the chat. Say it to somebody in the Zoom room. Keep your dreams alive. Hallelujah. Lord, God bless us this morning and help us, teach us how to keep our dreams alive. We need you, oh God. Use me this morning to preach your gospel. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let God speak.